Hello. Hi. How are you today? Welcome to my channel. I'm Patricia, located in Chicago. In this video, I want to talk to you about Twin Flame stages and encourage you. Let's get started, shall we? So what happens when people first find out about Twin Flames or they hear it? A lot of times they find out about this, they have a knee-jerk reaction, they go right to the internet, and what they see on the internet can be very discouraging. I'm here to encourage you about your journey, about what's happening to you, and about what's happening globally. This is a global thing. This is multiples of people going through a twin flame process and ascending. It's both. I mean, it's, you know, finding out and it's experiencing, it's awakening, it's activating. You have many more activations to come. Hi, is this new to you? If so, welcome to my channel. On my videos, I encourage people and I teach and I also run classes and do sessions. In this, what do you see about this here? Get discouraged. A lot of people really get discouraged and they find it hard for themselves to stay motivated or stay with the program, deal with the process. There's a way to do this and it is to have a daily routine. But in order to do the daily routine, you have to get some parts of yourself opened up. You don't automatically all open up just because you awaken to the words twin flames or you're not even sure. Okay. If you're sure, that's a good thing. And I encourage you stay on your pathway. If you're not sure, what I encourage you is for both stick with your body because your body is going to have the right connections in it to the right person. And more than likely, you're still on the way to meeting each other. By the way, both people in the twin flame journey, and there's only two, which is another misconcept out there. There's only two people in a twin flame unified state of being. It's a unification process where you get closer and closer energetically. And as you do, you help each other and, and you ascend. So why the confusion? Because a lot of people have tangled up energies. They have energy that's been tangled up with other people from their soul tribe in multiple lives. And that happens, the, how does the tangling up happen? Through sex, through killing, through murder, through, um, you know, just being in the same origins. It, it, that's how it happens. Time to disentangle from this. And it'll feel that way to people. Here's the really wild thing, is the things your soul wants you to feel that are good, actually feel good, light. It feels like a relief. It doesn't feel like drudgery, a chore, painful, or, you know, like it's, it's setting off alarm bells in you where you're like, hey, wait a minute. Am I supposed to be with more than one person? No, one person. One person who is pulling in all of their connections just to be with you. And that's a little hard to fathom from our ego mind and the frontal lobe that exists right here. But there is a part of you, and it is your heart, and that's no joke. Your heart is actually becoming much larger. And if you're not there yet, I have the work for you to do, the twin flame body work for you to do. So do you want this, or would you like it to go a little bit easier? You awaken, get your light body open, that word is open, Work on deepening yourself, which also means expansion. Get real expansion and guidance. Why am I saying that like that? Because when you're able to expand your light body, this creates something. First of all, that is exactly what quantum is. So if you ever heard of quantum healing or quantum time jumping or quantum this, quantum that, if you don't learn how to expand your light body, that expansion won't push things out or propel you forward. That's why you got to learn it. That's why you have to get real expansion. Okay. You got to break out of the old paradigm. Guidance. What is specific for you? What doors are you trying to open? Many times I tell people, that's what I tell them in my classes and webinars. 
you're not just supposed to be a, a good little doobie, okay? You're supposed to be you, a good version of you, an improved version of you, yes. But you're not perfect. Your perfection is in your light body. You have to know yourself, though, and this is so hard for women. Women have it the worst because we're very accustomed to compromising ourselves in relationships. You know, it's like, well, let your brother have that or just defer to your husband or until to the point where we don't even know ourselves, even if we have not been abused. It's not abuse, but it, it's compromise. It's people who sort of like they're erasing little parts of themselves in order to get along with people. But then it makes it so hard to get proper guidance because you seem wishy-washy. We're not really wishy-washy people. We are not, not deliberate. We are strong. We have our own electric energy. We have our own magnetic energy to gather in and we need proper guidance. So proper guidance is your own soul, your own higher self directly maybe suggesting things, guiding you, making you feel things or making you feel what you should push off of because sometimes it's that. Your soul doesn't want to support that crap anymore, okay? Because your soul doesn't want you discouraged. Your soul wants you to move along. So how would you do this? Oh, I've created something. Twin Flame Journal and Workbook. Key word being work, okay, but not hard work. What is in this Twin Flame Journal and Workbook written by me? for your twin flame ascension and your twin flame journey. This is going to break it down. If you've been curious and you're like, well, what exactly is a twin flame? Is that what I'm dealing with here? Am I like off my rocker? Like I can't talk to anybody about this. I mean, my family won't understand. Ah, I have ways to let your family understand without uttering a word. Okay. We do that stuff in our sessions and in our classes. But what exactly is a twin flame? Wouldn't you love to know this definitively? Because there's so much crap out there that people have misunderstood it. And here's the thing. A lot of people are writing stuff that have not had a valid twin flame awakening. So if you have, that's great. But don't put yourself in the hands of someone who has not. I have, I am. I'm not going to deny it. I'm not backpedaling on it. This is how it is. What is twin flame ascension? We break it down for you. Okay. Twin flame stages and phases. And there's a lot of them and it can be very confusing. So this is a very handy guide for you to give as a reference so that you might refer to what phase am I actually in? Is what is it like what I call the food phases, the old lady phase? the old man phase. There's characteristics to those phases that are in here. Your five heart 5D channel opening in here, how to do it. And you're a lover. We're all about love. And this does include primal passionate love. Not just like fluffy rom-com kind of stuff. No. Twin flame sensuality, how to. How do you really connect to each other and how do you get that spark going? And proper channel opening breath work with journal prompts and how to. So this book, the link is below. I hope that it will help you and please reach out. Um, our description is in there. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.